Hello everyone. Today we will interface Node MCU with a DHT11 sensor, and we will try to print the DHT11 sensitive uh, data to the ThingSpeak cloud. Right. So the program is write a program on Arduino to upload temperature and humidity data to ThingSpeak cloud. So we are making use of ESP8266. That is node mcu and the description of node mcu is here we are having some pins like so this is esp a266 wi-fi chip there is only one analog pin here used for analog input if you are using any analog sensors we can connect it to this pin and then this is the ground terminal and these pins are used to connect external peripheral like memory or external RAM, but these cannot be used for input and output. And this pin is used to connect uh, external uh, power input like 7 volts or 12 volts. Normal, normally, we make use of USB cable and we connect it to this port. Uh, and through this, uh, through the same port, the power is being given to this node MCU. But apart from this cable, if you want to give uh, external power supply we can give it to this pin we and power supply uh, it uses 3.3 volt means we normally provide 3.3 volt here uh, means vcc is connected to 3.3 volt whereas in case of arduino uh, arduino uno uh, there are uh, like 5 volt 3.3 and we in wherein it can take 5 volt there but here it is 3.3 volt and this is a ground pin TX and RX used for serial communication and digital pins we have from D0 to D4 and from D5 to D8. Also, one more power supply and 3.3, there is 3.3 volt and a ground pin available here. So, these are the various pins of Node MCU. And we shall go to the Arduino software. Here, initially, we have to go to file and then we have to go to preferences and we have to paste in a URL which is which I have given in this document. This URL we have to paste in here. Okay. So, I will repeat, we have to go to file, go to preferences and in additional boards manager URL, we have to paste this particular URL. After doing that, the connections, the components required are node MCU, DHT11 sensor and a cable wherein we connect to the laptop or uh, uh, the PC computers USB through this cable and some connecting wires. We also need to install some libraries because we are making use of DHT11 sensor. We need to install this DHT11 sensor. And we also need to install the ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h uh, library and thingspeak.h library. To do so, we need to go to sketch, go to include library, manage libraries. It may take some time, it depends on uh, the internet speed uh, to open this library manager. So once the library manager, manager is open, we need to first copy and paste this ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h here. Once we copy paste that ESP8266 Wi Fi dot H, you can see here IoT Tweet by Isaranu Jantal. This I have installed and I also installed MFU Things by Matanyu Roma. So these two particular libraries are installed already. 
And after this, we also need to install DHT11 library, right? So I have installed DHT sensor library by Adafruit. So because we have done some experiments related to DHT11 in the previous program, uh, I've already installed this. And after this, we need to install thingspeak.h. Once you type in thingspeak.h, uh, you can see thingspeak by MathWorks version 2.0.1 is installed. So I have already installed this particular library. So these are the libraries what we have installed now. Connections are already made. So data pin of DHT11 is connected to D5. Ground is connected to ground and VCC is connected to 3.3 .3 port and the USB port USB uh, this type is connected to USB cable. Once the libraries are installed, we should go to tools and go to board and select the particular board. In our case, it is ESP8266 boards. Here we have to select node MCU1.0 ESP12E module. After selecting this, we should also go to port and select the port with which we have connected. And one more thing what we have to do is we need to go to this website. Let me sign out this one. We need to go to thinkspeak.com and there uh, we have to create one account. Click on create one. And here we need to specify our email ID. So here to access your organization's MATLAB license, use your school of work email ID. So we need to just type in our general email ID like uh, in my case, I will try type in harishandi at gmail.com and India. So it will, uh, it is showing like account already exists because I've already created the account. So type in your first name and last name and click on continue. Once you do so, uh, you will receive an verify uh, email to your email ID. So there you have to click on verify and then it will ask to provide or set up a password. You need to do that. After doing that, so with the same user username what you have provided, email address what you have provided, that will be your username and the password what you have set up, that will be your password to log into this things people. So, as I have created, already created, I will type in my username and my password and sign in. Here in this one, we have an option called as channels. There, we need to go to my channels. So I have already created a one channel. If you want to create a new channel, go to new channel. There, you need to type in the uh, name. We can type in like temperature and humidity data. Okay. So you can give any description. Field when you can name anything. So I have taken temp here. And if you want any number of fields, you can do so. You can have the, those fields. Right. And then click on save channel. All right. So this channel is created. Temp and humidity data. This channel is created with these two charts field one chart and field two chart so field one is temp and field two is humidity data right so if i go to the already created channels here i'll be having both the channels the, the one which i have already created and this one which i have just now created so after creating this uh, let me show this example here you will be having the channel id this you have to copy and paste in here. 
here to paste in here. And here, my right API key, we need to paste in the API keys which are available here. Once you click on this API key, you will have a write API key and read API keys. Here, as we are writing the data to ThinkSpeak Cloud, we need to copy this write API key and paste into our program here. Okay. So after pasting this, right? So after pasting this, uh, now if we come to the program here, has already said three libraries are included. One is ESP8266 Wi-Fi, and one is DHT11 library and thingspeak.h library. So in this function, DHT, uh, we have make use of DeFi. It means the data pin of DHT11 is connected to DeFi pin of Node MCU. I can show you the diagram here, connection diagram here. You can see the data pin is being connected to DeFi pin of Node MCU. Ground pin is connected to ground and VCC is connected to 3.3 volts. So therefore, I've taken DeFi as my input pin of this DHT type DHT11. Here, I'm making use of a client variable wherein we are requesting the server to print the values there from my client device. And this is my channel number. As I said, the channel number or channel ID has to be pasted here. And the API key is pasted here. Uh, we are initializing the uh, communication port. And we are also initializing the Wi-Fi. Our ThingSpeak Cloud uh, is accessed by internet. So we need to have internet. And this, this is the username of my internet. And this is the password of my internet. Both username and password of my Wi-Fi has to be given here. And then while Wi-Fi dot status, if it is not connected, if the Wi-Fi is not connected, then it will be printing this dot dot. But if it is connected to Wi-Fi, then I have given here node MCU is connected. This is printed. If the Wi-Fi is being connected, then node MCU will be printed in the communication port. I also print uh, the IP address, local IP address, and I am initializing DHT11 library sensor, or DHT11 library, and thingspeak.begin. I am initializing this as well. And inside this, the, the program is very simple. Float h means I am reading the humidity value into this variable h, and reading this temperature value into the variable t as well as I am printing those values, T to temperature field and H to humidity. So this, I have uh, writing it here, thingspeak.write field, my channel number. So means the channel number is already defined here, above. Channel number means channel ID. My write API key means the API key, what I have taken from thingspeak cloud that I have pasted here. And into the field one, I'm pasting the temperature and into field two, I'm pasting humidity values. And after every two seconds, I want my data to be updated. Once the program is completed, I will upload the program. And once I click this upload, it may take some time, like one or two minutes to be completed, done uploading. And after that, if I open the serial monitor, you can see that the temperature values and humidity values are being printed here. Right? So the temperature values and humidity values are being printed here, as well as the same values will be printed in ThingSpeak Cloud. If you go to private view into our channel, you can see the field one chart and field two chart. So the values are being printed. You can select any of the uh, type of the chart, like 
I have selected line here. In type, I have selected line here. So here for field two chat, I have taken. Yes, here also I have taken type as line here. Right. So it is printing the values. Uh, what uh, what values are being censored by DHT eleven sensor? Okay. So you can see temperature is thirty one point four. We go to here. So the temperature is thirty one point four here. So normally it takes 15 seconds to update the value in things speak cloud so once i get this 31.4 it takes 15 seconds again to upload the new value and the humidity value is 32.2 okay so 32.2 is the humidity value you can see 32.2 all right so this is about the program thank you